Hey guys, welcome to the Physiotherapy Tutorials Lectures and today the first lecture we are going to talk about is the human cells. Now human body has basically trillions of cells and this particular human cells is basically called as the structural as well as the functional unit. of the human body so these are basically also sometimes referred to as the building blocks of the human body now if you talk about the single cells the single cell of the human body is basically a eukaryotic cell What do you mean by eukaryotic cell? That means that cell has a nucleus. So in the centrally located, you have in a cell a nucleus which contains DNA. And this particular centrally located nucleus is basically surrounded by a membrane. We'll temporarily call this as a cell membrane. and the red color is basically your nucleus so that is one individual cell which has a nucleus and surrounded by a cell membrane now the fluid now let's talk about the compartment so within the cell membrane this particular entire area which covers the nucleus is basically called as the intracellular space and whatever is beyond the cell membrane is basically the extracellular space is that simple as that within the cell membrane is a intracellular space and outside the cell membrane is the extracellular space now what is there inside the intracellular space so when we talk about the intracellular space this particular area is basically called a cytoplasm. So things inside the intracellular space is often referred to as a cytoplasm. So if you, a, a definition, if someone asks, a cell is basically a mass of the cytoplasm that is bound externally by the cell membrane so it is a mass of the cytoplasm bound externally by the cell membrane now let's talk about what exactly are inside the cytoplasm so we'll talk about first the components so we'll talk about the components of the cytoplasm so the components of cytoplasms, you have basically three main components. The first component is the fluid filled inside the cytoplasm, which is called as the cytosol. So cytoplasm is basically a fluid filled within this intracellular space, and that is basically called as the cytosol. Now this particular cytosol is a semi-fluid component or you can call it as a liquid medium inside the cell cytoplasm as you can say that it is outside the nucleus this fluid and within the cell membrane the second component which is there in the cytoplasms are basically the organelles and the third component which is there are the inclusions inside the intracellular space so basically you have a three components inside the cytoplasm first is a fluid filled liquid which is called as the cytosol then you have the tiny cellular structures required for the functions of the cells it's called as the organelles 
and then you have the tiny little particles within the cell membranes which is called as the cytoplasmic inclusions okay now let's list how many types of organelles you have in the intracellular space within the cytoplasm so you have the most important you also have a network of fibers that helps the cell maintain its shapes and to provide a support for all these organelles now we'll talk about cytoplasmic inclusion the particles which are there in the cytoplasm so these are the particles which are temporarily suspended in the cytoplasm it can contains consist of macro molecules and granules so the particles you can see it as a macro molecule plus the granules inclusions what goes inside the cell and you have a nutritive which is required for healthy maintenance of the cell and then you have the pigment granules best example is the melanin pigment found inside the skin okay so basically intracellular space is composed of the cytoplasm which is clear in color and has a gel like appearance so cytoplasm is basically color wise if we talk if it's clear plus it is a gel like appearance so the fluid contains various kinds of uh, organelles the salts enzymes particles macromolecules plus granules which could be either secretory in nature or the nutritive or certain kinds of pigments inside the cells now this cytoplasm has the important function that the first function it so the amount of fluids the amount of organelles and the inclusion and exclusion particles actually gives a shape to the cell so the cytoplasm is basically responsible to maintain the shape of the cells now when you talk about exchange of the nutrients this particular cell membrane which holds the cytoplasm is made up of plasma membranes which are semi permeable it's semi permeable it means it can allow the particles to come inside the cell and allows the particles to go outside the cells this particular plasma membrane is made up of phospholipids which forms a bi lipid layer which differentiate from the intracellular space to the extracellular space so when the extracellular space components going inside the cell it is called as endocytosis and when something from the cytoplasm goes outside it is called exocytosis as simple